Genevieve Gorder did a marvelous job on this master bedroom. As she put it, it's, it's a blending of worlds, not only of new and old in terms of uh, continents, but also new and old in terms of decor and design. This marvelous bed, um, it's really her favorite she's ever uh, designed for trading spaces. Um, so cool, so sleek, just absolutely beautiful. She calls these um, brass corners on them. She calls them the, the bed's brass knuckles. They look fabulous. It completely turns this wooden bed into a high-end item of furniture. The linens are so cool. Big secret, this wedding blanket is actually a shower curtain. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That was only $30, and it looks like she bought it in Turkey. Uh, this nook that she made, she did this incredible scalloped archway that literally, it literally transforms this whole space into something that you, you think you're not even really in the United States anymore. You're somewhere over in Greece or I don't know, or Morocco or Spain or just somewhere else. This wallpaper was actually designed by Genevieve. It is images of her scalloped keychain that's been uh, blown up and repeated and then distressed, which is so neat. Window seat that contains storage, awesome. And these great dressers that are just new dressers that came unfinished. They painted, did this great brass hardware on, but it's not brass, it's actually a metallic rub, which is really fun to do and also really easy to do and really cost efficient, which is all good things for trading spaces. This master bedroom is a wonderful example of feng shui, which is something that can kind of be a little intimidating. There are so many different lines of philosophy that involve feng shui. But Vern was able to focus in and hone in on the specific feng shui elements that were most appropriate for, one, a master bedroom, and also for the homeowners who live here. So the things that he taught me, oh, I learned over this last two days that one of the main most important things is that the bed be facing a power position toward the entry of the room, but not directly in front of the entry of the room. A wonderful element that he has incorporated is metal through the use of the gray paint, through the use of marvelous silver leaf that actually acts as frames for these great blown up pictures of the couple. I must mention the two mirrors because this is a 360 room, so you are seeing them. Uh, a wonderful feng shui element to always keep in mind is that a mirror in a master bedroom should not be something that uh, is reflecting you. And in this instance, he's got them uh, opposite each other, so they're just reflecting the energy back to each other and keeping any of that busy energy out of the way of the peaceful sleeping space. Then there's fire. And the way Vern incorporated with fire was through orange. He created a great nook. Janice, the wife, really wanted a meditation nook, a reading nook, and that's something that he was able to give them. And again, with gorgeous orange curtains that can be pulled tight. And the earth element is handled through the wonderful birds in the fabric and the wood limbs in the fabric, the brown carpet that was already here. And there's a pastel element, which we heard was also very important, and that's the background of the fabric, that pale blue. My favorite thing in the room, I gotta say, it's always the things that have been made from scratch, and I love these pendant lights. Bools of yarn dipped in glue and then wrapped systematically around exercise bouncing balls. I, you, I guess you could use balloons or whatever. And then you paint it again with the glue, you let it harden, and then you pop that ball and you're able to pull it right out from the, the hole uh, on the outside. And it's just, they're so cool, aren't they so cool? I love them. I think this room is exactly what our homeowners um, didn't know, even know they could dream of. And I think that's a wonderful thing when designers can do that.